Believe it or not, many Americans are getting everything, or at least most things, about money wrong. That's right. It's no wonder why Lending Club report shows that 64% of the U.S. population was living paycheck to paycheck as of the start of 2022, up from 61% in December 2021. But the income can't meet our needs in the first place? You might wonder. Well, you'll be surprised. The study also found that 48% of Americans earning six figures are living paycheck to paycheck as well, up from 42% in December 2021. Essentially, about half of the U.S. adult population is supposedly raking in income that makes them upper middle class, but it sure doesn't feel like it. So what's happening? Well, there are just so many things that people are getting wrong about money, leading to their money troubles and even poverty. In this video, we shed light on 10 of them so you can avoid falling into a financial crisis. Stay tuned. Welcome to Insight Booth, your home of insights that inspire forever. So what are the 10 things poor people get wrong about money you need to steer clear of? Let's find out. 1. Pursuing comfort instead of financial freedom To be fair, financial freedom is the last thing you'll be thinking about if you're poor. At that point, you crave a sense of financial comfort, nothing more, and that's the problem. See, if you're always pursuing comfort, you undermine your ability to become wealthy because these two concepts fall on the opposite ends of the spectrum. Comfort means working with what you got, while wealth means that what you got is working for you. Just do a quick sweep and you'll learn that many poor or financially strained people tend to jump into their hammocks as soon as they attain a level of comfort. Of course, this varies from person to person, but it often boils down to a decent income that can cater for expenses, rent, health insurance, one vacation per year, and that's it. However, the wealthy always find comfort in discomfort. That means they prefer to push further, even if they could just be content with life. Well, they understand that by getting out of their financial comfort zone, they can attain financial abundance. And once financial abundance is achieved, financial freedom is realized, which means more financial security than they would ever need. So if you want to get out of poverty, change your mindset today. Stop chasing comfort and go for financial freedom instead. Even if you feel comfortable with your current situation, don't let it get into your head. Pursue financial freedom by investing more, starting side hustles, and exploring passive income. Speaking of which, feel free to check out our video on passive income after this to learn what you could start doing as you pursue financial freedom. 2. Avoiding the math I don't know about you, but I'm definitely guilty of this one. And let me just tell you what it's all about. Like me, many poor people don't love math, which is understandable because who does? I mean, there's no denying that we often get into the thick of our finances because we don't want our heads to hurt as we do the math. Unfortunately, you won't stay ahead of your business, investments, expenditure, and cash flow when you avoid the math. The rich prefer to keep tabs on their bank accounts and balance sheets. After all, they understand that having the facts about their finances keeps money from streaming away from their accounts like stream waters. That's right, neglecting the math can lead to serious consequences such as debt, poor investments, or bankruptcy. So what to do? No, you don't have to be a math guru or prepare yourself for some complex calculations. Collecting basic information from your bank accounts, for example, your earnings and expenditure, is an excellent place to start. Consider using online or smartphone apps to do your math to get a clearer picture. It's nothing tasking, just the usual subtraction, addition, and the occasional multiplying and dividing. 3. Overspending What comes to mind when you imagine the rich overspending? The $600 million Airbus A380 private jet? A closet full of Manolo? Or is it the $4.5 billion History Supreme luxury yacht? To be fair, these are only a reserve for the super wealthy, but the point is that wealthy people are more down to earth than you might imagine. That's right, they aren't out there blowing money on just about everything. Rather, they are busy investing, and if purchasing anything, they are doing it based on their present financial status. I mean, how can they maintain their wealth if they are spending everything? I know you see it, the rich are excellent at keeping an eye on their goals, and their money too. On the other hand, most poor people spend money much more than they can afford to lead a certain lifestyle. The worst part is that they do it without even knowing it. Luckily, that's not set in stone. To avoid the poverty trap, be sure to always keep tabs on your spending to avoid going overboard. One effective way of doing this is budgeting, whether manually on a spreadsheet or with budgeting apps. The idea here is to challenge yourself to cut back on your spending as much as possible, of course, without being miserable. 4. Making too little of it You heard right. Making too little money is one of the things we all get wrong about money. See, saving and cutting back on your expenditure can only get you so far when it comes to building wealth. And why do I say that? Well, there is only so much you can do. There's a certain amount you'll get to, and you can't save anymore because you have needs. The same goes for spending. But do you know what has no limit? You guessed right, the money you can bring in. No matter what, you can always bring more cash into your account. So why not? And no, you don't have to do anything drastic or unscrupulous. You could start a business on the side. 
find a better paying job, write a book, and much more. Just soul search to discover one other thing you can do to earn more. Then maybe twice a year or three times, repeat the process to find more ideas. It'd be great if you could set yourself up to earn at least $100,000 yearly. Yes, I said it. Five, not paying themselves first. And what does that mean? Well, paying yourself first is the practice of allocating a specific portion of your paycheck to yourself so you can save and invest in things that add more value to you. Essentially, immediately after your check lands, you deduct that amount even before the bills or other expenses. So, what investments can add more value to you? Well, it could be a new course, training, a business, an asset, and so on. Six, failing to adjust finances after a significant event. Another thing most poor people fail to do is to rethink their money habits after a life-changing event. That's right, life is life, and it throws everything at you, small and big. When this happens, it's important that you make adjustments in your life, including financially. Maybe you've just separated from your partner and they were contributing to your household income. So, don't you think it's high time you changed your spending? You don't need to live in that expensive apartment anymore, among other things, because your income has been considerably impacted. That's just one example, but you get the idea. There are many life-changing events, and if they have a financial implication, it's only right to change your money habits. Seven, wasting money on fees. Many poor people undermine their financial progress by wasting a significant portion of their paycheck on fees. That's right, it's really difficult to grow your wealth if overdraft fees and missed payments are attending the party. Wealthy people understand this, which explains why they try hard to safeguard their wealth by paying their bills on time, avoiding high interest credit cards, and refraining from issuing bouncing checks. Eight, choosing price over value. So here's what this is all about. Poor people tend to undermine their financial growth by being overzealous with frugality. Instead of forking out $200 on a quality, long-lasting pair of shoes, they'd rather spend $50 on a low-quality alternative that lasts several months at most. Or maybe they hold on to a cheap old car that's expensive to repair and maintain instead of getting a new, efficient, reliable model. You get the idea. But while there's no problem with wanting to get the most out of your money, it's only right to emulate what the wealthy do. And what is that? You'll always catch most rich people comparing the price of something to its long-term value. They understand that the cheapest route does not always equate to value. Nine, spending too much on housing. Are you spending too much on rent? Yes, then you're getting it all wrong. Spending too much on rent or mortgage is behind most poor people's financial struggles. Ever heard of the term house poor? Well, it refers to people who make above average incomes but spend a huge part of it on the rent. So what to do? As a rule of thumb, you need to keep your housing costs below 20% of your income. That's right. Don't fall for that 28% to 30% narrative that most banking institutions allow. 10. Failing to separate wants from needs. Before we go on with our final point of the video, please subscribe to the channel to join our growing global community of insight seekers. I'll give you a second. Great. So, another thing the poor get wrong about money is failing to distinguish between wants and needs. That's right. Do you find yourself using the word need for every purchase? If yes, you need to stop. The next time you go shopping, try asking yourself whether you actually need or want something. Using need on everything causes you to believe that you need to spend your money. So, do you need that brand new car or iPhone? Or do you want it? What other things do poor people get wrong about money? Let me know in the comments section. And if you enjoyed today's episode, give the video a like and watch out for the next exciting episode. Check out my other videos too, and bye!